testosterone is a crucial hormone for building muscle, boosting energy levels, and maintaining a healthy sex drive. It is unarguably the most important anabolic hormone in your body. Unfortunately, testosterone levels decrease with age, and even more so when you're not exercising regularly or following a healthy diet. You see, the food you eat affects how your body uses and produces testosterone. And while there are certain foods that can maintain healthy testosterone levels, there are others that will wreak havoc on your hormones and make it harder for you to build muscle or burn fat. In this video, I'll discuss 8 foods that are killing your testosterone levels and why you must avoid or at least control your consumption of them. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Testosterone killer number one, flaxseed. Flaxseeds may be viewed as a great source of omega-3, but they could be doing more harm than good when it comes to your testosterone levels. Flaxseeds are known to be the richest source of lignans, containing 75 to 800 times more lignans than grains, legumes, fruits, and vegetables. And lignans have been found to be highly estrogenic or estrogen-like. In fact, studies have shown that they can increase the levels of sex hormone binding globulin in your blood. This is problematic because when SHBG binds to sex hormones like testosterone, they become unusable by your body, leading to lower testosterone levels. One study conducted on 40 male participants found that consuming flaxseed reduced testosterone levels by a whopping 10%. Another, more recent study showed that consuming just 30 grams of flaxseed regularly resulted in an 89% drop in free testosterone and a 70% drop in serum testosterone levels. So while flaxseed may be high in healthy fats, the high levels of lignans it contains can significantly reduce your testosterone levels, making it a food you must avoid consuming regularly. Testosterone killer number two, mint. While mint is often used to add flavor to food and beverages, or even as an herbal tea to soothe the digestive system, it's not a great choice when it comes to maintaining optimal testosterone levels. A male rodent study conducted on peppermint and spearmint tea found that both significantly reduced testosterone levels. Specifically, 20 grams of peppermint tea reduced testosterone by 25%, while spearmint tea given at 20 grams and 40 gram doses showed a 69% and 123% reduction of testosterone levels. A more recent human study demonstrated that consumption of spearmint herbal tea on a daily basis led to a notable decrease in free and total testosterone. The reason for this reduction in testosterone is due to the fact that spearmint induced oxidative stress to the hypothalamus, which is the gland responsible for signaling the release of testosterone into the bloodstream. While more research needs to be conducted to confirm these findings in humans, it may be best to avoid consuming excessive amounts of mint or spearmint if you want to maintain optimal testosterone levels. Testosterone killer number three, alcohol. Studies have shown that alcohol consumption leads to reduced levels of testosterone as well as increased levels of cortisol. Furthermore, there appears to be a dose-dependent relationship between alcohol consumption and testosterone levels, meaning that the more alcohol you consume, the more your testosterone levels drop. And while I won't suggest that you avoid alcohol altogether, I do recommend you keep it in moderation to minimize the negative effects on your testosterone levels and overall health. Testosterone killer number four, soy. Soybeans and soy products contain phytoestrogens that mimic estrogen in the body. These phytoestrogens are physically and functionally similar to estrogen and can activate estrogen receptors while downregulating androgen receptors. And without being able to bind to its receptors, testosterone can't do its job. Several studies suggest that soy can disrupt the uptake of iodine in the thyroid and impede the production of thyroid hormones, leading to poor thyroid function, which has been linked to impaired hormonal health and lower testosterone levels. 
Not only that, but polyunsaturated fatty acids found in soybeans are known to increase inflammation in the body, further impacting your testosterone. To maximize your testosterone levels, it's best to limit the consumption of soy products. While completely avoiding soy products may not be necessary, especially if you enjoy them, consuming small amounts may be beneficial. Testosterone killer number five, highly processed cooking oils. Highly processed cooking oils are often high in omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids, and as seen in this 2017 study, a higher intake of omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids resulted in a decrease in testicular volume and function. According to this study from the Journal of Applied Physiology, fat is highly associated with better testosterone levels. That said, not all fats are created equal. While saturated and monounsaturated fat intake had a positive effect on testosterone, polyunsaturated fat intake had the opposite effect. Sources of these polyunsaturated fats include sunflower, corn, soybean, and flaxseed oils. Rather than using highly processed cooking oils, I recommend choosing healthier fat sources such as olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. These healthier fats are low in omega-6 and can help improve overall health and hormonal balance. In fact, one study showed that consuming olive oil led to a 17% increase in testosterone levels in as little as three weeks. So, replacing highly processed cooking oils with healthier fats can not only improve overall health, but also increase your testosterone levels naturally. Testosterone killer number six, licorice. Consuming licorice comes with various health benefits such as fighting infections and treating ulcers. That said, licorice also contains a compound called glycerizic acid which can have detrimental effects on testosterone levels. One study by Armenini and colleagues found that licorice consumption reduced testosterone by 26% in healthy men after just one week. Glycerizic acid is responsible for the unique, sweet taste of licorice, but it also inhibits the enzyme 17-beta-HSD, which is an isoenzyme responsible for testosterone synthesis. This compound can block the conversion of testosterone to DHT, leading to decreased levels of both hormones. In another study, young healthy men were given 7 grams of licorice containing 0.5 grams of glycerizic acid every day for one week. After this short period, testosterone levels were reduced by as much as 326 nanograms per deciliter. This highlights the potential impact that even small amounts of licorice can have on testosterone levels. The good news is that just four days after discontinuing its consumption, the testosterone levels of the participants were almost back to baseline. While licorice does have some anti-inflammatory and immune-boosting properties, it's important to be aware of its potential negative effects on hormonal health. Testosterone killer number seven, trans fats. Trans fats, also known as partially hydrogenated oils, are a type of unsaturated fat that is often used in processed foods to prolong their shelf life. Unfortunately, studies have shown that the consumption of trans fats is associated with lower testosterone and free testosterone levels. One reason for this is that trans fats trigger systemic inflammation which is linked to reduced testosterone levels and even various chronic diseases. Trans fats are also high in polyunsaturated fatty acids which, as mentioned earlier, have been linked to lower testosterone and decreased sperm count. In terms of artificial versus natural trans fatty acids, natural trans fats have been proven to be less harmful than artificial ones found in processed foods. So, you don't have to worry too much about your consumption of beef, lamb, deer, and other ruminant protein sources. To optimize testosterone levels, you should limit or avoid consuming foods containing artificial trans fats, such as fried foods, baked goods, and packaged snacks. Testosterone killer number eight, breads, pastries, and refined grains. 
One study published in the Journal of Nutrients found that men who consumed a diet high in bread, pastries, and desserts had low testosterone levels. In addition, a 2021 study published in the Journal of Urology found that men who consumed a pro-inflammatory diet, which is high in refined carbs, had lower total testosterone levels than those who ate less inflammatory foods. Not only that, but refined carbs such as those found in white bread and pasta can result in rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. If you can, I suggest you opt for whole grain alternatives which are less likely to cause blood sugar spikes and can provide valuable nutrients to support overall health. So there you have it, 8 testosterone killing foods you must avoid if you want to build muscle optimally, maintain a healthy sex drive, and improve your physical and mental health over the long term. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.